honor him this morning. Why don't you just give him all the glory and all the adoration and say, Father, we adore you. Why don't you just honor him this morning? Come and raise your voices up and say, Father, tell him something sweet this morning. Tell him something. Just, just tell him something. Say, Father, I love you, Jesus. Tell him, I, I need you, Lord. Just, just, just say something sweet. Come on, come on. Reset Yes, Tell him something sweet today. Say, Father, I honor you this morning. Father, I adore you this morning. I give you all the glory. I give you all the honor because without you, Lord, I am nothing. Without you, Lord, I'll be shattered. Without you, I'll be broken. Without you, Lord, in fact, I'll be dead. You are the reason why I'm alive today. Tell him, tell him, tell him, tell him. Thank you, Jesus. Cassandra la brush and la brush. Thank you, Father. This morning in my spirit. Thank you, Father. Those those key things that that the Spirit of God was dropping in my spirit this morning that I want us to touch on. I heard in my spirit. Sincerity. Cassandra brush and another Santa Ligre brush. And it's a month of sorry, it's a month of inspiration, isn't it? And the spirit of God said to me, Sincerity, how sincere are we? Care brush, Arabas. Say get a brush, Maligra. Oh, I can feel the presence of God in here. Santa Li brush, how sincere are we in everything that we do? The Spirit of God says sincerity. And sometimes they ask, ask when we don't have sincerity, it causes scarcity. That's what the Spirit of God said to me. And how sincere are we to our fellow brothers? How sincere are we to the will of God? How sincere are we to the promises of God? How sincere are we to the things of the Lord? How sincere are we when God has given us an instruction? So this morning, let us begin to raise our voices up in forgiveness and say, Lord, Father, I am sorry. Begin to call forth because for us to be inspired, there needs to be an atom of sincerity in our lives so that we can eliminate scarcity. So let's raise our voices this morning and say, Father, in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, I ask for sincerity in my soul. Come and raise your voices up and say, Father Lord, I ask for sincerity, Lord. Everywhere that I'm lacking sincerity in your work, oh God. Every day, Lord, that I fail to be sincere. Heavenly Father, King of glory, I call on you this morning. I ask for your divine forgiveness. Yes, Santeli Gredeli Brashanda la Kredaba. Yes, Sendele Brosoto Yegredele. Libra Santa Yaba. For those of us that don't understand sincerity, let me tell you why the Spirit of God spoke to me about it this morning. When my sister called me, the, 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 the pastor for me called me yesterday and said, I wanted you to lead the prayer, and I said, Yes. That my yes was sincerity. When I failed in sincerity, is I got here six minutes past ten. The Bible says the little, little foxes they spoil the vine. And if somebody asks me what exactly were you doing, I can't even pinpoint it. So when we're talking of sincerity this morning, we're going deep. When we agree to do something, when we put our hands up and say, yes, we have made a choice that we're going to do that thing. And then when we fail to do that thing right, uh, that is where our sincerity is being questioned. Why don't you raise our voices up this morning and I begin to say, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus, I ask for divine sincerity in my sorrow, God. Everywhere that I've lacked sincerity, everywhere that I've failed to be sincere, everywhere that I'm really, really lacking sincerity in everything that I do. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus this morning, I ask for your divine forgiveness, oh God. Jesus' mighty name. It's a month of inspiration. As children of God, the sincerity that people see in us is one of the things that governs inspiration. And inspiration is not just for us alone. Inspiration is for other people. As children of God, our world, how far do we inspire people? 
When the Spirit of God mentions scarcity, in Christendom currently, there's a lot of things that are scarce because the children of God have failed to be sincere. Inspiration is scarce. How many people are inspired this morning? Why don't we begin to raise our voices for every single one of every single person in this church, every single one person in our household, in our children's life? Let's begin to call upon. Oh God, I call for divine inspiration. Without divine inspiration, we cannot do anything. Raise your voices this morning and say, Lord Jesus, I want to be inspired again. I want to be inspired again as a child of God. I want to be inspired again. Raise your voices up. I'm going to speak this morning. Heavenly Father, I want to be inspired. I want to be inspired. I don't even have any form of inspiration anymore. My faith is weary. My body is weak. My heart is broken. I want to be inspired, oh God. Raise your voices. Kalepro Santa Ligre let me tell you something about inspiration. Thank you, Father. Kasenteli prosa kliyele yebrasi anda la brosh. Let me say something about inspiration quickly. We're going to go into the word of God and just maybe read one or two Bible verses to complete our prayers this morning. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let me say something about inspiration this morning. When it's time to pray, how inspired are we? When it's time to praise God, how inspired are we? When it's time to receive, says the Lord of hosts this morning, how inspired are my children? Inspiration governs a lot of things in our life and that's why for most of us, we don't have that zeal, we don't have that inspiration in our soul and we find out that we cannot receive. Why don't you raise our voices this morning? And say, Father, my Father, my God, King of glory, I want to be inspired, oh God, my lebro shut up. I want to be inspired in my spiritual life. I want to I want to do more, Lord. Why don't you call on him this morning and say, Lord, give me strength. Give me strength, oh God. Eliminate every form of scarcity. Any way in my life that inspiration is cast, mighty redeemer. Why don't you eliminate it this morning? Calebrosha. Raise your voices and pray and say, Father Lord, Master Telebrosha Kalababa. There are certain things that are scarce in my life currently. Not because you have not given it to me, but because I failed to be inspired. Raise your voices this morning and begin to decree and declare. Heavenly Father, King of glory, give me the strength to be inspired. Give me the strength to be inspired, oh God. Why don't you mention a few things in your heart that you know that you are not currently inspired on? What are the things that you are not currently inspired on? Is it your journey with Christ? Is it your assignment? Is it your finances? Oh, Is it your children's? What are the things that you are not currently inspired? Why don't you raise your voices and say, God, give me strength to be inspired to do more, Lord. Raise your voices up, come on. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And we're going to read um, from the book of Acts 6. I'm going to be really quick. Still on inspiration this morning. I just want to assure us that even our Father in Christ, 
every single one of them in the Bible, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Peter, they all faced some kind of trials and tribulations. And at some point, maybe many of them just failed to be slightly inspired. But one of the key things that they held on to was trusting God. The Bible says in Acts 12, 6, that the night Peter, before Peter was placed on the trial, he was asleep. He was fasting with two chains between two soldiers. Others stood guard at the prison gates. Are you currently asleep this morning? Lack of inspiration causes us to sleep, brethren. Are you like me? I was pointing out this morning that, you know what, there are some key areas, you know what, I think I'm, I'm actually falling asleep. But there's one thing, the ability to know is one thing, and the ability to action it is another thing. So you can know and you just remain there. But to this morning, let's raise our voices up and say, Lord, please wake me up from my slumber because I need to be inspired. Come and raise your voices up this morning. Caleb and wake me up from my sleep. Say, Ketil Nendeli Brosan, Lele Kerebo Shataya Bababa. Raise me up from my sleep. Raise me up from my slumber. The Bible says you alone are the one that never sleeps nor slumber. That's why you have an authority over my life to wake me up when I'm sleeping unnecessary. Unnecessarily because you keep an eye on me. I want to wake up, oh God, in every area of my life that I've fallen asleep. Thank you, Jesus. Verse 7, the Bible says, Suddenly there was a bright light in the cell, and an angel of God stood before Peter. The angel of God struck him on the side to awaken him and said, Quick, get up. And the chains fell off his wrists. We have asked God to wake us up. What about the chains? The Spirit of God has been speaking to me that there are many, many, many steps to freedom. We take one step and then we retire. We take one step and then inspiration is all gone. There are so many steps to freedom. I don't have time to read the whole verse of the chapter today, but I want to tell us some key things in this, and I want us to go and read it later. The Bible says that Peter, the next day of his trial, for some of us, we are at the point where we're saying, God, I cannot go on anymore. Lord, I cannot stand anymore. But listen, Peter's situation, it was a day to his trial. It wasn't a week to his trial. It wasn't a year to his trial. But Peter stood steadfast. But the only thing that he was not inspired to be awake anymore, he fell asleep. Calibro Shandalibra. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The chains fell off his wrist, says the word of God. But that was not the end of Peter's freedom for inspiration. A lot of us, the chains fall off. We get awakened. We think that's the end. No, we are not ready. Today, let's call God and say, Father, Father. give me readiness. Oh, I want to be ready. Because when your freedom comes, there's an element of readiness. When you are yet to be inspired, there's, a ready, there's an element of readiness. Are you ready to be inspired this morning? Because I am ready. Raise your voices up and say to the Lord of hosts, I am ready to be inspired. This is my month of inspiration. God, raise your voices. I am ready. I am ready, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody in the house, the Spirit of God is saying there's a touch and go joy in your life today. You're happy tomorrow, you're not. The second you're happy tomorrow, you're not. The next minute, you're not. Hallelujah. This minute, you're happy. The next minute, you're not. And the Spirit of God is saying, Hey, bro, Santa, I have come to inspire you to be joyful. And if you're that individual, just raise your hands and say, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Raise your hand and just say, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for remembering me this morning. Thank you, Jesus. Verse 8, the Bible says, Peter stood up and said, Lord, I am ready. Our release to inspiration or to be inspired this morning, to be fully inspired. We need the light of God just like Peter. We need the angel of God to strike us to wake up just like Peter. We need 
with the chains to fall off our feet just like Peter, but that does not deplete your total freedom. The Bible says, the angel of God said to Peter, get up and let's go. He said, get dressed and put on your sandals. For a lot of us, we, yes, the chains are falling off. Yes, the light is shining on us. Yes, we have been hit by the angel of God to wake up, but guess what? You forget to put your dress and your slippers on. You jump out unnecessarily and the Spirit of God is saying today, let's raise our voices. Wherever I've been careless, oh God, wherever I've failed to put the right garment on, wherever I've failed to listen to your instruction, but I love this morning, equip me. Come and raise your voices up this morning and say, equip me, oh God. Equip me, oh God. Because I have refused to go on on this journey of failure. I have refused to go on on this journey of failure. I want to go on the journey of progress. I want to go on the journey where the light of God will shine upon me. I want to go on the journey where the chains will be broken. I want to go on the journey where I'll be ready. Raise your voices up this morning. Because a lot of us, we fail to be ready whilst we are in our journey. So we get stuck. We fail to be inspired. Thank you, Jesus. And finally, there's one thing I want to say to us before I close. The most difficult place for Peter, which was the soldiers and the iron gate. The Bible records that he opened on his own accord. So meaning there's a place you will get to where you don't have to do much anymore. Let's raise our hands up to the King of Kings this morning and say, Father, thank you. And say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, King of Kings. Thank you, Lord of Lords. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen.